for multiplying complex numbers given in Cartesian form, we'll just do it as when we were multiplying our brackets. We'll do everything by everything. So just consider the following example again. We have the same complex numbers as in the previous video, but this time we want to multiply them. So we want to get z1 by z2. First complex number is minus 3 plus i, that by 5 minus 3i. If we multiply out the brackets, we have minus 3 by 5, which is minus 15, then minus 3 by minus 3i, which is plus 9i, and then i by 5, which is plus 5i, and finally i by minus 3i, which is minus 3i squared. So have a look at this. We have this, which is a real part, this 9i and this 5i here, which are imaginary parts. And then what happens with this minus 3i squared? Is that a real part or is that an imaginary part? If we think about i squared, you just have to realize that i is nothing else but the square root of minus 1, as we said when we introduced complex numbers. And then i squared is the square root of minus 1, everything squared. As the square and the square root cancel each other, we get that i squared is nothing else but minus 1. Therefore, this part here will become a real part. So we have minus 15 plus 9i plus 5i minus 3 by, and instead of i squared, I'm going to write minus 1 which gives minus 15 plus 9i plus 5i plus 3. And then we are just back to adding and subtracting complex numbers. So if we join real parts with real parts, we get minus 12. And if we join complex parts with complex parts, we get plus 14i. It is important that you remember then that when multiplying complex numbers, you will need to use the fact that i squared is equal to minus 1. 